and in me. The evil in man must be tamed so that the benevolent soul may lead. Let me show you. It can be done. I can free you, the, all of us, from this, just all of this. Listen! Oh. Listen to yourselves! Who are you to demand what he's trying to do? Order! Order! Distinguished colleagues, your final verdict? It is quite clear, Dr. Jekyll, that your proposal is rejected. Outright. I have tried to like you, Jekyll, but this science does not mix with matters of the human soul. <coughs> it's over, Henry. My life's work, Gabriel. Let me buy your fine port, Westopian port, at, at the portal. <laughs> Del Wood. Oh, Elizabeth. Hi, oh, Henry. I'll see you there, yes? That was rather brave, what you just did. That was rather brave, what you just did. Foolish, but brave. Yes. You uh, must have acquired an education at the nunnery in uh, Tasmania. An initiation, really. I started at the nunnery and then I ran away to a mystery school where I was taught the healing arts by Aboriginal elders, soul integration, levitation, that sort of thing. Oh, right. It was terrible how Father sent me so far away. I'm not sure, but uh, I think that Dr. Lanyon has uh, never really liked me. <laughs> we were so young. Five and... Seven. A little too young to be kissing, I suppose. We were innocent children, and you were my only friend. I did write to you, Henry, once I'd learned how. I wrote too. Do you remember how we used to play with the toy animals? I had an ivory pony called Peaches, and you had a... Oh, what was it now? Yes, I do remember. <laughs> what will you do now that the medical counsellor's declined your research? Oh, I really don't know. Perhaps there are other ways to help people. Ways that don't quite come so close to breaking the Hippocratic Oath of Do No Harm. <clears throat> but I work with those people every day. My own father was committed. They would have nothing to lose and everything to gain. I was sorry to hear about your father. My father's arranging a soiree, and it would be incredibly less boring if you came. Uh, <coughs> thank you. I uh, have always preferred the company of my uh, my work. You, um, you do know your father hates my guts. You would be my guest, not his. Besides, I'm interested in your work. That is my coach. You will come for the sake of old friends. I, uh, I can't think of anything I'd rather do. This. <laughs> <laughs> And about four or five of them jump around on one leg. <laughs> 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 right, shut up now, gentlemen. Mary's right, about yeah. to start. What about a lovely big hand clap for our proper talented Mary Riley? I don't care if it hurts 
I wanna have control I want a perfect body I want a perfect soul I want you to notice When I'm not around You're so fucking special I wish I was special but I'm a creep I'm a widow What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here Run. Mr. Addison, who oh, am I to stand in the way of the great minds endeavouring to uncover the mysteries of the human life? It won't be long, love. Welcome home, sir. I trust the symposium went well. You were back rather early. Uh, we didn't go well at all, Paul. Those rigid stiff legs have no foresight. No, oh, I am sorry, sir. Perhaps you would like some supper while it's hot. Uh, soon, perhaps. Oh, I should like to tidy a few details in my laboratory. Oh, of course. It would be nice to see a bit more of you now that it's so. Uh... Yes, Paul? Now that it's over, sir? Oh, perhaps. Oh, uh, Elizabeth Lanyon is back in town. How lovely for you, sir. Oh, well, you're already aware. Uh, yes, sir. What do you mean, how lovely for me? I don't mean anything by it, sir. Only you did used to be friends, didn't you? Well, we still are, I think. Well, she said that she's interested in my work. Oh, mm, that package finally arrived for you. Oh. Uh, where is it, Paul? Uh, little box, you, sir. You were quite upset when Elizabeth was sent away. And then you cried like a baby for seven years. I'm sorry, sir. Drove your father quite mad. You were just a wee boy. You had every right to be upset.
December 16th, 1880. A time uh, around 8.30pm. This will be my final entry. The method salt crystal has arrived and seems to be very high quality indeed. I trust it may prove useful somehow. I do wonder how this new substance would have reacted with the base compound. Should it be that I will never know? Unless... Well, I, I could just mix a bit up, just to check for colour. Opacity of the founding blend, the uh, new elixir does on the sheen of deep magenta. Oh. oh, an enticing, magnificent beauty. It it, it froths, it, it sparkles, it, it entices. I must imbibe. I must be the one to consume. No. No, no I mustn't. In the name of science. <laughs> Should I drink of its nectar? <laughs> oh, come now, you knew I would. <laughs> Nothing? Nothing? Except a slight tingling, a slight heat running through my veins. A slight feeling of yeah. euphoria. <laughs> uh, other than that, uh, never mind. Other than that, no noticeable behavioral differences. Ah! God! Oh my god, something is happening. Yep. Ah, uh, <coughs> sudden pain, sudden agony, ah, filling me, killing me. Dear god, suddenly out of breath. What is this? Ah, is this death? No, no. Not. Well now, my lovelies, where is the excitement in this deadbeat town? <laughs> now listen here, Alison. It's not entirely personal. I do respect certain aspects of Jekyll's work. Now, there should be a carriage along further. <laughs> we shall share it and continue our discussion. Well, good night, sir. Is there a carriage further down? Perhaps. Was there a nightclub further up? <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Where were you? Oh. What an interesting fellow. World is going mad, Alison. Now, what was I saying? Ah, oh, yes. Dr. Jekyll overrates the <coughs> work. That flies in the face of modern collective agreement. Was it not the same for other scientists? Uh, Cop Copernicus, for example. Oh, you're not going to argue flat Earth, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying that science, by its very nature, must remain open to deep It's truth. too bloody late to argue flat <coughs> Earth, Alison. <laughs> I have your breakfast ready, sir. Shall I bring it up? Oh, thank you, Paul. Oh, so <coughs> take breakfast a little late today. Sir, why oh. are you on the settee? Hmm? Oh, I, Was uh, there something wrong with your bed, sir? Um, yes, it uh, wasn't very comfortable, so uh, I decided to sleep here. Was there something in your bed, sir? Uh, like, Paul? Mm, 
like a chicken, perhaps? Chicken pool. Well, sir, these things can happen. There's a lady in Somerset who has been giving birth to baby rabbits. It's all over the papers. You can read about it while you have your breakfast. Oh, and you can read about the disturbance last night at the portal. A mysterious man made quite a scene. And I'll be hanging out the washing, should you be needing me, sir. Uh, thank you, Paul. That will be all. Oi! Why hasn't you got any pants on? <laughs> you just let me sort you out with my lost property. <coughs> Might be something in here for you. Well, here's some trousers. Are these your trousers? Hang on a minute, there's something in the pocket. Wait, here, put them on before someone sees you. Can't have you running around here with no trousers on. You'll be bringing my establishment into disrepute, you will. What did you say? Oh, I'm tired. Oh, you want a cookie? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do it. Yeah. I got Come time. On. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry to intrude. I, I may have left something here last night for a timepiece. Well, it's, it's very sentimental to me. I've lost a piece of time and all. Maybe later, love. Uh, no, my pocket watch. <laughs> Seems to be missing from my pocket. Yes, it can be. Pocket watch? Can't say as I seen one, though I do happen to have one for sale. Just came in. What a coincidence. It's, it's, it's very similar. It's, it's not actually mine, is it? Oh no, that pocket watch belonged to Nanny Nighty, and Nanny Nighty cherished that pocket watch. How interesting. You see, I thought mine was a one-off. Now I find that all along there have been two. Two different pocket watches. They're each so very similar. Similar, but not the same. To Bob for the watch. Are you sure? It's worth considerably more. Well, you're a treasured customer, Mr. Addison. Why are you here? Oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm fine, thank you. I don't mean with me. I caught my fella over there. I mean with some of the ladies. Come to think of it, you don't seem to visit upstairs. Are you... That was a wishful rumour spread by repressed literary types. No, Mrs. Mann, I am seeking true love. Well, you won't find that here. Similar, but not the same. Thank you, Mrs. Mann. That was very enchanting singing last night, miss. Tyler, do you want to go? Oh, no, no. Well, clear off then. Certainly, miss. Oh, Chris, you do. <laughs> <laughs> what an amazing night. Last night was so fuckless in here, Mary. Just because you got swearing in your song didn't mean you can come and bring your bad language in. They're a cancel culture, Andy. <laughs> well, one can never be sure. Twas a good night though, made a pretty penny myself. That Mr. Hyde, he's something else. Throwing money around. Bottles of champagne. And you see the way he dealt with that angry Andy. Mr. Hyde stood up for me. It was quite a sight. Seven in the paper. What, from last night? How do they do that? <laughs> Time travel, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I had to laugh when I found out Mr. Ida had tied him up to the park gate. Where in my boa too? I'ma go see if I can't find it. See you later. I know. Sorry, right, Doctor, back so soon. I may have left something here last night. Uh, in the young lady's room. Uh, ah, there it is, my cane. Thank you. That cannot be your cane, Doctor. This cane belonged to Scrubber Cleaver, and Scrubber Cleaver cannot be working her poor old knees without her cane. Are you sure? It looks very much like the one given to me by the late Dr. Jekyll, inscribed with my name, 
Dr. Hasty Lanyon. It says no such thing. How much? How much what? How much do you want for the return of my cane, Mrs. Mann? I don't know. Very dear to me. Half a crown? Yeah, right. Dr. Lanyon. Dr. Jekyll. I have been instructed by Elizabeth to invite you to the soiree tonight. Seven sharp at the manor. You won't mention... Uh, I won't mention... Yeah, I was just retrieving my cane. Yes, so I see. Can I help you, sir? I, uh, um... Well, what is it? Love at first sight? I, no, 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 I, uh, do I, um... Do you know me? In the natural sense. Uh, do I look recognisable to you? Can't say as you do. When was you in last? Mm, last night, I think. I may have had a little too much to drink. <laughs> well, we can all have a few too many wax. So you've uh, never seen me? Never seen you before in my life, love. Well, uh, this may seem a little strange to ask, but... Uh, do you ever wear red feathers? I can if you want me to, love. Oh, no, no, no I, did, I didn't mean uh, that. Found it. Had to buy it back off Mangy Jack. This ear is Mary Riley. <coughs> I'm a star around here. Oh, it's, it's a pleasure to meet you, uh, Miss Riley. Could I... Uh, buy your champagne. Could I speak to How you? How do you do it, Mrs. Man? Another toff in here. Buying champagne already. Is, is that irregular? We had this fella riding last night. He was something else. Bottles of champagne, throwing pan notes around like autumn leaves. Um, hide, you say? Yes. Hide. Here, no gossiping about the customers. Oh, no, 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 it's all right. Uh, Mr Hyde is a friend of mine. <laughs> well, your friend I was in here last night, caused a bit of a ruckus. Made a window upstairs. Oh yes, I, I know. He, uh, we, we went out for a few drinks together. Uh, he must have outdrunk me, so I, I went home. Well, how do you know he made a window then? Uh, he taught me so this morning. And uh, Mr Hyde also asked me to uh, give you uh, this. I'll have a bloody Mary. Uh, no alcohol for me, actually. Perhaps you'd like a virgin. Um, a virgin Mary. No booze in it. Oh. <laughs> yes, I'll, I'll try that. Thank you. Uh, well, you two get to know each other. I'll fix those drinks, then I'll best take a look at that broken glass. Yes, I... Uh, would a, um... A, a window be a, um... A window? Well, it would. If there was glass in it. Ah. Well, why would Mr Hyde break a window? <laughs> to get away from Angry Andy. He'd break his skull in two. It's weird to think that you're a friend of Ides. You and him are so different from one another. <laughs> you, uh, you don't see any resemblance then. <laughs> Maybe a family type resemblance, but I mean, personality wise, you're as different as day and night. Hmm. You, uh, you enjoyed yourself with Mr Hyde then? Did I ever? <laughs> he come in here and took charge of the old place. And everyone in hysterics. In a good way, mind. That's when Angry Andy come in and got so jealous on the account of Mr. I treating me like a queen. When Angry gets more angry, well, Mr. I throws him over in his shoulder in an ape like fury, marches him down to the park gates and ties him up. Strong. But somehow he must have escaped, because that's when he come back. And then, Mr. I gave me a big old snog, dashed through the window without opening it. Huh. I see. Well, uh, what happened to the angry fellow after that? Can't say as I care. Mr. I must have outrun him, because you said that you saw him this morning. <laughs> I did, did, yeah, didn't yeah, I? <laughs> Bleed and bloody blimey! What is it, Mrs. Man? Angry Andy's got himself impaled! Impaled on the street lamp outside the window! Folks is walking around underneath, blood dripping on their hats, and them not even noticing. To be sure, the view from the window, well, it's undeniable!
Uh, perhaps I should take a look. I am a doctor. It's too late for a doctor. Fresh, is he? <laughs> oh, no. You best go check on your friend Ide. He might be in no end of trouble. Yes, uh, Mary, uh, this is my card. Um, should you need my help for any, any reason at all, and uh, this is to help with any expenditures derived from that dreadful incident when angry Andrew fell through your window, uh, window, for that is surely what happened when he was uh, chasing that mysterious stranger that was mentioned in the paper. <laughs> well, I think I understand your narrative. Uh, I think I understand your narrative too. <sighs> Passing here in broad daylight, lights begin to see. Hands of shadows, dark and deep. And this has not she. Standing here in the early day. Please stand up. <laughs> Lovely to see you. <laughs> and uh, we have some more distinguished guests here. I'm, I'm sure we have uh, we have Merv and Di from Way Out in Granity. Stand up, please, Merv and Di. <laughs> There's many more, but very soon we shall enjoy a delicious dessert. But for now, I would like you all to be upstanding in honour of my daughter Elizabeth, of whom this soiree is all for. Please stand up. Please. Are uh, we looking for a, a suitable husband for Elizabeth? <laughs> uh, so, uh, oh yeah, sir. What do you do? I'm a soldier. Oh, fantastic! I'll keep you in mind. Um, <laughs> you, sir. What do you do? I draw holes in rocks. Oh. <laughs> Very interesting, <laughs> I'm sure. You, sir, at the back with the glasses. Yes. What do you I do? do? Yes, what do you do? I do, do whatever I like. Thank you very much. Very <laughs> good. A man who likes to know what he wants to do. <laughs> that's what I was saying. Oh, that's right. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, I now present Miss Elizabeth Lanyon. Well, put 
yourself and munch. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> Is Henry here? <clears throat> Henry! Oh, Elizabeth. You look beautiful. It's good to see you. Now, how are we going to survive this? I have no idea. We start with drinks. Looks like Dr. Lanyon has made a good start. It's a big day for him. Yes, I'm sorry, have you two met? Hi, mm. oh, Gabriel. It's nice to see you all grown up and to lawyer. You too, Elizabeth. Could have blown me over with a feather when you spoke out at the symposium yesterday. Need I tell you, young ladies aren't supposed to do such things. Is there a law against it? No, not yet. They may be writing one now, as we speak. I'm so pleased you're not stuffy. Don't let his appearance fool you. Although, uh, there is more to Gabriel than I think even he is aware. There's more to all of us. Humanity could unshackle a, a little bit, don't you think? For me, it is enough to get by. After all, those shackles pay my wages. Ah, but Gabriel believes in law and reason. He does not believe we have a soul, and nor does he believe that we have a shadow side. However, in all the time I've known him, I've only ever known him to be amicable and unreasonably likeable. There must be a dark side. Did you ever play with us in the sandpit, Gabriel? I was a little bit older than you two. I do remember you playing. Uh, you had a, a little ivory pony. Peaches. Yes, and Henry had a, a red cock. <laughs> a painted wooden rooster. <laughs> Dr. Jekyll, you made it along then. I would never refuse a request from either yourself or Miss Lanyon, sir. <laughs> I was a very good friend of your father, you know. Yes, sir. Dr. Until he went cuckoo. Father, this is unacceptable. I have tried very hard to like you, Jekyll. But I must admit, I liked you a little more when I saw you entering into the brothel. Father, what were you doing in the brothel? <coughs> I was retrieving my cane. Is that what you call it? Elizabeth, it is not about what I was doing. It's about what Jekyll is doing. Not having the material. Father, you are now, drunk. Come on, come on, we'll meet somebody. Here. Come along, Hasty. In introduce me to the to the jewelry. Damn you, Watterson. I am so sorry about that, Henry. That was embarrassing. It's, it's his big day. Um, look, I um... I think I shall say goodnight. No, don't go yet. I haven't had a chance to talk to you about your work. I wanted to say I believe in what you're doing. We are souls, Henry, and we've been taught to listen to our survival mind, but the soul, it speaks in whispers. Oh, but I, I truly am glad to finally find someone who uh, has an interest in this. My soul is whispering, Henry. When I'm with you, I am so happy I could die. Well, mine is whispering, um, go home. I'm sorry, Elizabeth. I, I hope your father finds you a nice husband. Oh. I'm not property. I'm a sovereign being. I am a sovereign being. I am a sovereign being. Father, that was terrible how you just spoke to Henry. He's a professional doctor doing his best to help humanity. He must be devastated after the symposium. Have you no heart? You must go after him immediately. I fear he may do something dreadful. You're right. The outcome of the symposium has affected him severely. He has not been the same since. I'll go. No, I'll go. You are right, Elizabeth. There is still time before dessert, so I will try to catch him up. Elizabeth, please remember I do love you. I'm not sure. He was starting to get melancholy over having sent you away. You, you seem to instruct him. I am a sovereign being. Dr. J. 
Jekyll has become a laughing stock. Mr. Hyde is becoming too evil. And he's getting stronger. I'm starting to fear that perhaps one day I may not be able to change back into Henry Jekyll. Hyde seems to consume and project too much power. I have to choose who to be. Being Jekyll isn't exciting at all. But he is, or was, a well-respected doctor. Hyde, on the other hand, comes with pleasant dangers. Oh, an excitement. But he is bound to become hated. Lonely. I can't stand it. I need to be Hyde again. I need to feel more alive. Sir, Dr. Lanyon is here to see you. We are running low on crystals again, Poole. Who is here? Uh, Dr. Lanyon, sir. He says it is imperative that he speak with you immediately. Send him in. Into the laboratory, sir. Yes. Dr. Lanyon, please do have a seat. I have something very special I was hoping very much to show you. When the devil is too busy and death's a bit too much, they call on me, my name you see, for my special touch. To the gentlemen, I'm misfortune. To the ladies, I'm surprise. But call me by any name, anyway, it's all the same. I'm the fly in your soup, I'm the pebble in your shoe, I'm the pee beneath your bed, I'm the bump on every head, I'm the peel in which you slip, I'm the pit every hip, I'm the thorn in your side, makes you wriggle and writhe, and it's so easy when you're evil. This is the life you see, the devil dips his hat to me, I do it all because I'm evil. And I do it all for free. Your tears are all the pay I'll ever need. <laughs> while there's children to be sad, while there's candy to be had, while there's pockets left to pink. While there's granny's left to trip down the stairs, I'll be there. I'll be waiting round the corner. It's a game, I'm glad I'm in it. Cause there's one born every minute. And it's so easy when you're evil. This is the life you see. The devil tips his hat to me. I do it all because I'm evil. And I do it all for free. Your tears are all the pay I'll ever need. I pledge my allegiance to all things dark and I promise on my damned soul to do as I am told. Lord, Bob has never seen a soldier quite like me, not only does his job, but does it happily. I'm the fear that keeps you awake. I'm the shadows on the wall. I'm the monsters they become. I'm the nightmare in your skull. I'm the jack in your back. Extra turn upon the rack. I'm the quivering of your heart. A stabbing pain, a sudden start. And it's so easy when you're evil. This is the life you see. The devil tips his hat to me. I do it all because I'm evil, and I do it all for free. Your tears are all the pay I'll ever need. I do it all for free. Your tears are all the pay I'll ever need. I 
and I do it all for free. Your tears are all the pay I'll ever need. Get so lonely being evil. I do to see a smile, even for a little while. And no one loves you when you're evil. I'm lying through my teeth. Your tears are all the company I need. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Merry Christmas! And this is Mary, Merry Christmas, my little helper. Now it's time to collect up all those lovely presents you bought us. You can put them in Mary's sack or maybe down her stocking. Who wants to come and sit on Mary's knee then? Come on young lassie, come and have a wee go around Mary. <laughs> she don't bite. Not on her knee, but you can sit on the wee chair. Hello my love. Hello. What's oh, Sean? Oh, well, um, you don't know your own name. <laughs> come on, we'll try again. What's your name? My name is Christy. Nice to meet you, Christy. What would you like for Christmas? Um, I think I might like some coal. Some coal, keep you nice and <laughs> yeah, warm? Exactly. Yeah, I, <laughs> I reckon you could get some coal. We could sort that out, couldn't we? That means she's been a bad girl. It does, <laughs> but if she's asking for it, she knows she's been a bad girl. Yeah. So, I, I, reckon, so I reckon it's all right. Bad. Yeah. <laughs> you go take a seat, love. Nice to meet you. I reckon the young fella over here wants to go. Do you want to go? Sure. Yeah. Oh, please, you. Come on up, love. Hello. Hello. What's your name? Lockie. Lockie, nice to meet you, Lockie. And what would you like for Christmas? Uh, I, would, I would like a T-shirt. A nice T-shirt. That's mm. nice, isn't it? Yeah, yeah any colours? Um... <laughs> Black. Black, yeah. Goes with everything then, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah, you like your black clothes, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. We'll see what we can do for you, Lockie. All right. Yeah. Nice to meet you. You go take a seat back over there. All right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Who's next then, eh? Oh, oh, oh. Anyone else? Hello. What's your name? Mr. Hyde. Oh. All right, Mr. Hyde. What's your first name? Edward. Oh, okay, Ed. What would you like for Christmas? I want Mary for Christmas. Oh, have you been a good boy? I've been a very good boy. And how much do you want, Mary, for Christmas? Enough to marry her. Oh, enough to marry her? When? Right now. <laughs> I knew the moment I laid eyes on you, I'd never want to share you with any other man. Tell me, Mary, would you like to spend the rest of your life in love with me? I was defending your honour. That's right. You was defending my honour. Mary Riley, will you uh, oh. marry me? Yeah, all right then. Anyone here a vicar? I'm a ship's captain. How does it go? Do you take her? Do you take him? We, we do. do. Just a small matter of my feeling. <sighs> Let's drink. 
Champagne! I'll have a bloody Mary! Oh, you drink champagne now, Mary. You're a sophisticated married woman. Um, but I don't want to drink champagne. Oh, now, well, my darling wife, let's not be uh, obstinate on our wedding day. Champagne! All right, then. She gets rotten drunk on champagne. Um, where are we going to live? Why, we'll live here. I thought you just said you was going to take me away from all of this. I said I'd make an honest woman of you. <laughs> What's the matter? You like your work here, don't you? Um, not really. I mean, I like the singing, but... Of course you do. You're a star. An artiste. World famous in Westopia. Aren't you even going to take me out? Of course I am. We'll go to the park. Um, where are we going to consummate our marriage then? At the park. We'll be arrested! No, we won't. It'll be romantic champagne in the park. We'll wander the streets. Why, is this the girl I married? Where's your spirit of fun? Um, I suppose you're right. I just that, you know, maybe we might go somewhere a bit nice. Oh, Mary, we will go somewhere nice. We'll go to the clock tower, that's nice. <laughs> then we'll go on to the tip head. We're at tea now, Mary and Mary's couple, burned by contract. <laughs> you might even have a bet or two down the other pub. <laughs> <laughs> Certain all as well, Elizabeth. We couldn't dream of a better outcome. You will see. Now, we mustn't let the food go cold. Let us show the guests through to the dining room. Yeah. 
said to me, you two are loitering, why don't you move along? I kicked him in the bum, you knocked your face away, he put the blame on you. Feeling this is for me and me. So happy Christmas! I love you, baby. I can see a better time when all our dreams come true. Barbecue's mud in the river runs cold And the wind goes right to you and everyone's old When you first took my hand at the Christmas party You promised me Broadway was waiting for me You were handsome You were pretty queen of the West Sea When the band finished playing We howled out for more The clock tower's ringing All the drums they were singing We kissed on the corner and danced through the night The, the boys are West for Big Brass Band We're singing Galway Bay and the bells were ringing out for Christmas Day. You're a bum, you're a punk. You're an old slut on junk lying there almost dead with that slit in your head. You scumbag, you maggot, you cheap lousy shagger. Happy Christmas, you are a prank on it. your last. The boys of the West Fork Big Brass Band were singing Godly Day And the bells were ringing out for Christmas Day Yeah! I could have been someone Well, so could anyone You took my dreams I kept them with me, babe. I kept them with my own. I make it all alone. I built my dreams around you. <laughs> the boys <laughs> are as poor, big brass band were singing Holy Day. And the bells were ringing out for Christmas Day. Hey. being seen here with you. You look terrible. <laughs> but each brutality will do that to you, I guess. <laughs> uh, you did this, Edward! <laughs> and Mr. Anderson. Paul. It's Dr. Jacqueline. I believe he is, sir, but I have strict instructions not to disturb him. Uh, would you come in, sir? I have a letter for you from Dr. Jekyll. I would, thank you. Uh, knitting, Paul? Yes, sir. I find it quite soothing. <coughs> is Dr. Lanyon with Dr. Jekyll, Paul? Uh, not that I know of, sir. He did call two nights ago, but I have not seen him since then. H have you seen Henry since then? I haven't seen him, but I have spoken to him through the laboratory door. Dr. Lanyon is missing. He did not return to his uh, soiree. He, he left to visit Jekyll. Oh dear. Did you see Dr. Lanyon leave? I did not, sir. I imagine Dr. Jekyll himself saw him out. Has anyone else called? Not that I know of, sir. His associate has been and gone a few times. His associate? A Mr. Hyde. He is helping Dr. Jekyll with his research. He is rather quiet and seems to come and go via the back entrance. 
must see. H have you met this fellow? I have not. I have been instructed to stay out of his way. Have you met Mr. Hyde, sir? No, Paul, I have not. But I should like to. Perhaps he would know something about Dr. Lanyon's whereabouts. <clears throat> this, this letter says only to be opened upon the death of Henry Jekyll. I did notice that. Hmm. Oh, there you are, Paul. I'm famished. And we need those new salts urgently for the new formula. Ah, Gabriel, excellent. Uh, did you get my letter? I, I did. Oh, I there are two inside. One is strictly only to be opened should anything happen to me. I should like your word on that, Gabriel. You have my word. Now, the other is my will and testament assigning my worldly possessions to Edward Hyde, which you will need to sign also as my lawyer. This is a good idea, Henry. I've, I've looked over your accounts. You've spent a small fortune recently. Is this due to Mr. Hyde? May I meet this fellow? Yes, Mr. Hyde is expensive, but he is vital for my research. You may meet him as soon as he is back from uh, Transylvania. He left a note with me this morning saying that he had to leave on urgent business. Oh, Henry, have you seen Dr. Lanyon? Uh, not since the other night. Uh, why? He, he did not return after visiting here. Well, he uh, left, I think, around 8 p.m. <coughs> How have you tried that little place he likes to visit? Of course, the portal. Yes, I'll try there. I, I, I can't believe I haven't thought of that earlier. Good day, Henry. Good day, Utterson. Paul, I will take my breakfast at the laboratory today. Yeah, right you are, sir. And then I need you to get... A more crystal? No, not the crystal, the salts this time, please. It is vital I have them as soon as possible. Are you sure? This is for the highest good, sir. I'd like to see Dr. Jekyll, if I may. Uh, do come in, madam. I will see if the doctor is in. I could call if ever I needed you. Uh, yes, of course. Good God, that's a dreadful, dreadful wound. Uh, please, do have a seat. Um, I will tend to it. How did this happen? Did, did someone hurt you? Another angry fellow? It was your friend Ive what did this. He ain't no gentleman, Doctor. He's a mad beast. I'm so sorry, Mary. Well, it weren't you what did it. Still, I'll be careful who you guys around associating yourselves with. He ain't here, is he? Uh, who? Edward Bloody Eyed! Oh, uh, Paul, give Mary a Bloody Mary. No, no, he's not here. You're quite safe. Now, listen, this might sting a bit. Ow! Sorry, it's, it is deep. But it will heal nicely. You did right to come and see me as soon as you did. Thank you, Doctor. You have a kind touch. Um, could you, could you take a look at these two? I'd best get those supplies now, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. There should be some currency in the drawer. What happened? He seemed so dashing at first. Uh, no currency left, sir. Uh, excuse me for a moment. Mary, this is for you to help with while you heal. It can come out of Mr. Hyde's expenses. Thank you, Doctor. Um, I don't know what to say. You can put that there for now. Uh, listen, I uh, need to check a bit further down. Would you, would you mind? I don't mind, Doctor. <laughs> Got a gentle touch. Quite shy, ain't ya? Henry, are you there? 
Elizabeth. Best letter in, she sounds fearful. I'm with a patient, Elizabeth. Um, can I see you soon? I can't hear you through the door, it's unlatched. Can I come in? Ah, oh, um, uh, Elizabeth, this is uh, Mary Riley. Hello. Hello. Uh, Mary is from the portal. She has an injury. Oh, the portal. The brothel. Uh, we doesn't call it a brothel. Uh, that, that's what it is. Right. I'd best be off now. Thank you for seeing me, Doctor. Oh, Mary, your, your check. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to intrude. I want you to know that I'm sorry for your pain and I don't judge you. Now bloomin' big of ya! Um, that really was big of you. You paid her with a cheque, Henry. No, 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 no. I am far too concerned about my father to contemplate any of this. Let's just say that it's good that I saw it and now I can't unsee it. My father has been missing for two nights, Henry. Do you have any idea where he could be? He was quite upset when he left. He, uh, may have gotten lost in the park. Have you, have you checked the park? I'll go to the police. Ah, no, no, now I remember. He said he would take a walk along the uh, riverfront to clear his head. Um, it must have gotten yeah. lost on the new walkway. You should check there. Will you come with me? Uh, yes, yes, of course. Um, tell you what, why, why don't you go on ahead? I'll get my coat. I'll be with you as soon as I am able. As soon as I can, here we go. Henry! <sighs> now and then I think of when we were together said you felt so happy you could die Told myself that you were right for me But felt so lonely in your company But that was love and it's an ache I still remember Henry, 
The front door was unlatched, so I made my way in. There were some very strange noises coming from behind the lab door. Some even sounded like weeping. I'm dreadfully worried, Paul. Mm, as am I. Mrs. Mann, a Mr. Hyde, does he frequent here? Does he ever? <coughs> Married our Mary. They should be back from their honeymoon soon. Did they go to Transylvania? No, they went to the park. Well, this means that Hyde may still be here. I hope so. Not him so much, but I want my Mary back. Ah, could that be the young lady with the bruising who visited the doctor this morning? If I recall, her name was Mary. If Hyde is still here, then Henry may be in danger. That did not sound like Jekyll's voice coming from the lab. <laughs> Paul, we must return to the house immediately. Fuck, this is hard work. All going according to plan. Are there any more of those DNA samples upstairs? I do not have any. Well, just one thing left to do then. Final booty <coughs> check. Then head to the good doctor's house. Yes, Captain. <coughs> Paul, is there a fire around in the house? This may be dangerous. Oh. oh no! Well, there's no law against not owning a gun. <laughs> uh, no. We did have a wedding, but when I checked for currency earlier, it wasn't there. Oh, shoot. Ah, look. There's a spade in the garden by the trolley. What's up in the pig basket? Oh. Uh, sir, are you there, sir? Mr. Jekyll, sir? Uh, I am here. I do not wish to be disturbed. I'm with Mr. Addison, sir. We are concerned. Captain <coughs> uh, Addison? Nearly, Paul. Let me show you the cat thing up the stairs. <laughs> uh, is there anyone else with you, sir? He may have taken him hostage. For God's sake, Jekyll, let me in. There is only me here. Paul, did you get the salt? Uh, yes, I have them here, sir. Here you are, sir. Thank you, Paul. What on earth is happening, Henry? Uh, Look, I will explain everything, but first I need to know that you have signed those papers. I have not signed them. I do not think it is a good idea to sign your inheritance to a possible murderer. Look, you must trust me, Gabriel. Please, sign the papers. I will explain everything. Of, of course I trust you, Henry. You and Lanyon are my only friends in the world. Very well, I will sign. Thank you. Thank you, my dear friend. Now, this must leave me for a short while. There is a matter of the utmost importance I must attend to. Of course, Henry. <laughs> I only hope that you know what you are doing.
Tonight I shall end this deep and dream. This is not a dream, my friend, and it will never end. This one is the nightmare that goes on. I is here to stay, no matter what you may pretend. And he'll flourish long after you're gone. Soon you will die, and my memory will hide you. You cannot choose but to lose control. You can't control me. I live deep inside you. Each day you feel me devour your soul. I don't need you to survive like you need me. I'll become whole as you dance with death. And I'll rejoice as you breathe your final breath. <laughs> I live inside you forever. Satan himself by my side. No, I know that now and forever you'll never be able to separate Jekyll from her. Yeah. Can't you see it? Over now, it's time to die. No, not I, only you. If I die, You'll die too! You'll die in me! I'll be you! Damn you high! Leave me be! Can't you see? You are me! No! Deep inside, I am you! You are high! No, never! Yes, forever! God damn you high! Take all your evil deeds and rot in hell!
sorry, my dear. There is no Henry. Only Hyde. Now you, sweet miss, will do exactly as I say. Oh my God, who are you? You know who I am. I live within all of you, whether you would wish it or not. Embrace your shadow. Embrace me. <laughs> Dick, what the hell is going on? Whose is that voice? Addison, you'd better get yourself out of here if you know what's good for you. Who are you? Where is Henry? Henry Jekyll is no more. I believe his will belongs to me now. You evil bastard. <laughs> okay, Brian. You carried on like nothing was noticeable. No recognition. <laughs> you believed whatever Henry Jekyll wanted you to believe, and Henry Jekyll was under my control. <laughs> like Cain, you gave your brother to the devil. Well, you, Artisan, will be blamed for the deaths of Dr. Lanyon, <laughs> of Henry Jekyll, of Angry Andy, and yourself. After a fire breaks out in the laboratory, Elizabeth here will be my intelligent vouchsafe and uh, decoy companion. Fraudulent! I assure you, Artisan, that I am quite genuine. <laughs> oh. Elizabeth, Elizabeth, go, don't get out of here. I told you, please, you must leave me. Who killed my father, Henry? Uh, forgive me, Elizabeth, I'm sorry. All human souls as we meet them are commingled out of light and dark, and in trying to extract the dark and eradicate it, I created pure evil. We are tired, Elizabeth. We are out of control. Take aim and fire! Bang! <coughs> You? It's oh, me. Oh, sir. It's me. Oh, Paul. We failed. Thank you for everything. I am truly sorry, sir. It seems what you put in darkness puts you in darkness. Oh, Paul. You've been a true friend. A true failure. <laughs> you let everyone in and failed to get jet on the right sauce. Bad servant. <laughs> the jackal is under my control. No. Too bad for you. <laughs> this is not happening. More than I, oh Gabriel. Monster! You killed Black. Don't Lanyon. shoot! You kill Henry! Well, you can't have the one without the other. Oh, Mary. Sweet Mary, star of the show. Oh, I love you. Mary, Mary. Liar! There is no love in your twisted black heart! Why? Can you not feel this love, my love? Was it too dangerous a game for poor Mary? The beauty couldn't handle the beast. The only thing you know is how to love is your own insatiable wickedness. When Mary gives herself to a man, it's because she loves him, not because she's trash. <coughs> Mary Riley was a proper cabaret artiste. And you, Mr. Ride, a proper piece of shit. Henry! I know you're in there somewhere. Hear me! Come back to the light. Let her go. You do not belong to the dark. I am the dark. You are nothing if you cannot embrace your shadow. You'll have to kill Henry to kill me. Do it! I dare you! Just let the girl go! Right. Gladly. In this world, you have to kill to survive, and you are not mad enough to do it! <laughs> but I am! Oh, oh my god! Oh. Henry! Oh, my sweet Henry! <laughs> If I ever saw Satan's signature, it was upon that of your friend Hyde. Sleep now, my love. We thought we were here to collect judgments. And we thought we were here to collect facts. And instead we find facts are facets. 
and the only truth is love that underlies. May I remind everyone we are on a time schedule? I think you have something what belongs to me, Mrs. Eyed. Your free will. Is it closing time, Mrs. Mann? May I your ride? The choice point. The portal will be closing soon. All aboard for those that want to be transported through space and time. Is this the ascension? <laughs> we are so much more than we think we are. <laughs> Who are you? Wandering round is what we do. Collecting stuff. DNA. Valuables. Collecting fear is next. Going ahead to the future. Should be a good harvest. What is she doing? She's trying to teleport. The Earth frequency cannot accommodate her in this time-space continuum. But I'll let her ride then. Oi! Do you want to come with? Where are you going? Future eventually. Start a new Earth. Looking for light workers. I may as well. You'll need one of these. What's this for? Where do we go? On your face. For breathing. <laughs> 